Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how you can visualize the field of organite or other metallic objects. So for this I have my high voltage impulse generator set up. This will generate an alternating field around here. And if we put a conducting object on here, somewhere around here, it will conduct the electric field. And I will show you what we can do with it. So let's power it on. This is our power and this is our output. And if I put something metallic like this steel bowl on here, we can see if we come close to it with the neon bulb, it will light up even brighter if I directly touch it with metal. So this is conducting the electric field. If we put a plastic container between it to increase its height, we will also see that it still works up here. Uh, if I can get it here. See. So now let's do this test with Organite. Let's first start the smaller piece here and you will see because there is a lot of metals in there in there lots of brass copper and steel and also crystals you can get an idea depending on how strong it lights up on which part where your field is stronger and where it's not obviously um, where the metallic parts are, it is the strongest. On this, it's very, on this piece, it's very evenly distributed, so it's kind of the same everywhere. So let's try this part. This is a slightly bigger one, and this is made in layers. So if you have lots of steel in the bottom, and copper. Pyrite is also strong. And even on top here, it's, see, it's, it's a bit weaker on the crystals here, but on the top, it's still there with the steel balls. You can see it's very evenly distributed as it should be. Lights up good. And now to the next piece. even bigger one. See everywhere it's metal. And if we come to a crystal it's a bit weaker, but still there of course. Even up to the top. So there you can get an idea where you feel is stronger and weaker and how you can yeah, improve your organite. If you have, like you see, the top part is mostly epoxy. You see, if you got holes in your organ with just epoxy, you see it's weaker. So metal has to be everywhere. And also the crystal, depending on which type, will conduct but I will show you later what I mean with that. So, yeah, I will switch over to an, another organite. So we are back here with an even bigger organite, slightly bigger than the coil, but doesn't matter. It conducts the electricity just fine. Yeah, you can slightly feel it. And as you can see, I, have, I haven't changed my input voltage, but it has really dampened the output to around 900 from 1.4 kilovolts. So let's see. This is a really interesting one, I think, because, yeah, you can see, because it's bigger and 
there is just more space between the layers you can really see where the field is the strongest see here's almost nothing and here's iron and copper and and what i've noticed on, on top there's almost no metal just slight bit here and there it lights up but where it really lights up the, this is rose quartz and amethyst and other quartz crystals and they don't conduct it this well but pyrite you see this part this is pyrite here it's over there pirate really does conduct well as far as i remember it's some sulfur of iron i think i don't know exactly but it's a crystal that really conducts electric fields very well and i think that's why most people use it in their organite and yeah it has just different properties than other quartz crystals as you can see here very interesting I think so yeah this is I think an interesting way to uh, visualize the field of your organite and but that you can re really see where you, you you could improve something or if you have parts where like up here um, it, sh it would be better if there is some metal here and I will show you that on the next piece so here's the next piece it's the same size and same shape but yeah it's built up almost entirely different different materials and this one also has some magnets in it and I have these tensor rings and around them I have copper coated stainless steel balls to attract and the copper for the flow let's say <laughs> it's not very scientific I know but as you can see we have a, a really evenly distributed field even here between this 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 whole layers and the outside you see only quartz crystals small but in the inner layer there are bigger crystals and there's yeah a really strong feel like in the capacitor between this, this metal side and this metal side and this is the dielectric in between and and on this organite it's really evenly distributed as you can see and even on the top because we have these two tensor rings and stainless steel balls around field is really strong enough on the on the top part also some pyrite that conducts very well so on the whole piece we have yeah even deep and strong field So the reason how this works is we have an alternating field coming from the coil and this alternating field conducts electricity in metal parts and also partially in some of the crystals as you can see and yeah this electric field around this conducting materials lights up this neon bulb and I mean in reality you don't put organite on this field but even if we switch off of course it doesn't light up anymore there's just not enough power but we do have alternating fields around us everywhere we the most dominant field is the 50 hertz from our home power or in the US 60 hertz and we can also measure this with the oscilloscope quite clearly so I have here my probe not connected if I touch positive side 
you will see we have at the frequency of 50 hertz this, this voltage is not dangerous or anything it's just my body is acting as a antenna for the 50 hertz oscillating field around me everywhere in this house yeah so we have an oscillating field and we have organite and if we have yeah a high voltage oscillating field with power behind it like we had it in the coil you can visualize the field by putting some neon bulbs near to it like right now not because I have to power it on before there we go so I hope this gave you an idea of how organite could work maybe it helped you so yeah that's it for this video have a nice day and goodbye.